This is the state of crypto. The U.S. government is coming for crypto. They want taxes. They want to raise 28 billion, at least 28 billion, from cryptocurrency taxes transactions. Uh, it, it is a, a provision in a infrastructure. In, in a new infrastructure uh, bill they're working on. But uh, the problem is that uh, they're, it seems like they're just rushing it in. They're not, um, they haven't planned it for too long. Uh, it's just, it seems just rushed in. And when that, you know, good things are never, n nothing good happens when uh, things are just uh, rushed in. Uh, on top of that, most of the people uh, in our government don't know a lot about uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, they've they've heard of Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, and Cardano, maybe, but that's 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 all they know, and uh, most of them don't understand uh, how crypto works. Um, another problem is that uh, it's just not a good thing that they're they're starting to trying to trying to tax uh, cryptocurrencies because um, uh, they might say that uh, it's for this bill for the for infrastructure to build the United States to rebuild the United States the roads no they might say that it's it's for that but once they start doing that there is no going back they're always gonna be collecting taxes and as always they're gonna be uh, higher taxes um, and um, the problem is that not only are they going after uh, the, the like Binance, um, Coinbase, uh, KuCoin, uh, and and all the other uh, exchanges, but they're also talking about uh, regulator regulating the um, hardware wallets. Hardware wallets that you have at home, uh, where you're supposed to keep your crypto safe. Uh, there is talk about them uh, going and, and and speaking to the the, the 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 people that manufacture these wallets. So they're going to speak to the people that manufacture these wallets, um, and uh, they're going to see if there is a way for uh, for them to for the wallet manufacturers to. Uh, give government all the information uh, whenever there is a transaction, even if it's just moving uh, your crypto from uh, your from the exchange to your own wallet, to your own hardware wallet. Uh, that is, if, if they comply, if the manufacturers comply, that is uh, very bad news because um, they could uh, basically steal your crypto even government, they could just take your crypto or, uh, uh, you know, imagine just connecting to your computer or to the inter your hardware wallet to the internet and right away they can take uh, your 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 money. Um, not saying the government would do something like that, but uh, it would just uh, make the hardware wallets more vulnerable to hacks and to people that are uh, criminals and are uh, looking to steal money. Um, it's just not a great thing to see. Uh, but there is uh, two sides of a coin. Some people actually uh, believe that um, certain regulations by the government is a good thing because uh, it would bring money to more money to crypto. Uh, there is, and they have a point. They do have a point, but. Right now, it just seems like this is, uh, uh, they, they need to learn more about cryptocurrency. Uh, they're not experts. They need to talk to a lot of the experts or they need to get themselves very informed. And then in a, in a couple years from now, then, then yeah, to start maybe regulating it or talking about regulations uh, similar to this one. But right now, um, it, it, it's just too rushed. Too, it's too early to start uh, 
in my opinion, to start uh, regulating it. Um, also, if uh, if they start, I mean, like the other, like I said, other people believe that um, it, it is actually a good thing. Uh, and uh, like I said, I agree with them, but not in a rushed way, not without knowing what they're doing and that's what it seems like they don't know what they're doing and they just need money and they want money and they're trying to they're seeing uh, crypto and all the money in crypto and they're like oh, let's go let's this, we can get money from this from these people um and i agree with the people like i said uh, that believe that uh, regulation will bring more money to uh, this uh, industry and and I believe it would because a lot of people that are not investing in in, in, in crypto they are scared and a lot, a lot of institutions they are scared because there is no regulation um, I believe once there is regulation then uh, millions billions will trillions will come into the crypto markets and things are gonna skyrocket I just hope they don't uh, ruin it for everybody. I, I hope they don't change the rules and try to outlaw it and things and similar things like that. Uh, but let me know your opinion in the comments. Um, let's see. There is a the there, there is a video of the uh, CoinDesk people uh, talking about it. Uh, let's see what they, uh, it's just, uh, they don't go into details, but seen anything publicly yet. Anything publicly. And, uh, uh, the new infrastructure deal. So yeah, there. Uh, it's definitely happening, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how things work out. Hopefully, it's something positive. But it seems like it's, uh, in my opinion, something very uh, negative. Um, there is more things going on with regulation um, now. With in Binance, um, so certain people are gonna are not gonna be able to withdraw their Bitcoin, Ethereum, or whatever. Uh, out of their their the exchange, um, the the they will be there will be a cap uh, on on how much Bitcoin you will be able to uh, withdraw from from the exchange. Um, the platform now requires users to complete their identity verification to increase daily withdrawal limits up to one hundred. Bitcoin users without the full KYC will see a lower cap. Okay, so there we go. They are now limiting people uh, when there were no limits before. Uh, crypto is supposed to be freedom, uh, but uh, now regulation is coming in and uh, we'll see if uh, it's a good thing or a bad thing for um, crypto. Uh, now with the uh, XRP news, the XRP, the on-demand liquidity uh, that happened with Ripple, um, a program that that uh, works on, on on people that send money to from Japan to uh, the Philippines. Um, it's called the the on-demand liquidity 
corridor and uh so basically that uh it happened uh yesterday it started uh it went online yesterday and it's um the price of xrp at this moment is i believe uh 74 cents uh, it definitely went up uh it was a couple days ago everything is going up but a couple days ago xrp was at uh, a few days ago it was even at 59 cents and now it's at 74 cents uh it keeps going up um but i don't think it's gonna go higher than that because of uh the sec lawsuit uh that ripple is facing at the moment which um it just seems like there there is going to be a settlement very soon it, things are very strange very quiet uh after the the position of william hinman things just weren't uh quiet um a lot of people are saying that there will be a settlement because there is just too much uh, in favor of Ripple at the moment, too much in favor of uh, Ripple and XRP. And um, the SEC just is not doing a good job uh, with their lawyers. And I mean, they can't, they, 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 there is uh, not much they can, uh, they can argue when uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin are out there and they're very, very similar to XRP. Um, and uh, especially the, the, there seems to be a lot of conflict of interest, a lot of, um, I, I would say corruption. I don't have the proof of it, but uh, it's just, it's, there seems there is a lot of corruption and uh, there was an attempt, I believe there was an attempt to uh, keep the price of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum competitors suppressed. I do not know for sure, but uh, that's what it seems like. Um, and uh, when it comes to XRP, this is not financial advice. But uh, there has been a lot of uh, people talking that... Uh, as soon as the SEC lawsuit ends, whether there is a settlement or XRP Ripple win, uh, the price will go really high. People are expecting $22 and uh, it's at 74 cents right now. But um, if you, if you uh, not financial advice at all, but if you, um, if, it, we're a lot of us are in this space because of, we want we want the knowledge and we like the crypto uh, technology, but we also want to make money and uh, not financial advice. But I think XRP is a good investment at the moment because we are seeing a lot of people that never believed in XRP after the lawsuit. They used to not like xrp at all because they thought it was not a good investment now most of them are very bullish on xrp and uh, i will definitely keep uh i do hold xrp and uh i will keep uh buying xrp please subscribe to the channel thank you